Hi, my name is Marty and I'm from iFixit and I'm here with my sons today, Rilo. Hello. And Owen. Hi. And we're looking at this BB-8 lamp that has some cool features. Check that out. When you touch the top, it lights up. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Looks like there's different modes on there. So there's white and you touch it again, it turns orange. And another time, what happens on that it's one? It's like white and, again. and then I think it slowly it's turns orange. orange. Or it's white and orange mixed. White and Maybe orange. both of those turn on. And what happens if you touch it again? Off. Oh. Oh. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. You guys wonder how that works? I think it's yeah. like kind of the touch screen on a iPhone kind of. Interesting. Huh. Any other ideas? Uh, a big button. A big button? So there <laughs> might be something you're actually touching and pushing down? Some, yeah. So some physical switch? Except the thing is like wait. if you touch this side, mm -hmm. I don't even have to touch it. Really? So you don't Magnetic feel anything field. like... No, see, so watch this. Wow, that's Maybe cool. a magnetic field, like it helps energy jump from your finger or something. So magnetic energy? What are the kind of energies do you think that might be making this thing work? Well, we can see it's plugged in, right? So electricity. So electricity. Electricity might have something to do with it. So what do you think? You guys want to... Take it apart. Take it apart and figure out yeah. how this thing works? Ooh, stoic. Awesome. Well, the first thing we should do is probably think about safety. So, yeah. let's turn it off first. You guys can turn it off. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it with the force. Okay, now let's unplug that part right there. There. Okay, so it's off and there's no power. So now it's safe to work on it. Do you think the head can unscrew? Um, okay, let's try it. You guys want to work as a team to see if that works? Help me out here. <laughs> Well, don't force it. We don't want to break it. So you can experiment to see if that's a way to get it off. Are you turning it on tighter? Well, <laughs> if there's power going up, there may be something inside that could be getting twisted. What other way can we get in here? Can you guys look around and see if there's another way in? There's this. Yeah, yeah these are like stickers. Oh. Huh. Let's try and think of a non-destructive way to get in. Uh, this thing on the bottom? That thing? Okay. Let's see. What's there on the bottom? How about we use these? <laughs> <laughs> well, that might scrape it up. So let's see. Let's see if there's a way that we can get in. This thing? Yeah. Use one of our iPhone picks. Actually, it looks like that's the way. Oh, so it's like a felt pad at the bottom. Okay, gentle, because we might uh -huh. we want to put this thing back together when it's done. We'll put that off to the side. There's a cord. What do you guys see in there? It looks like there's some cords, and then it leads into a hole in the top, and it's leading from this. It's leading from here, this outside this thing. pretty much the hollow, plug. actually. Let's uh, disconnect the power port, because I see the wires go up into the head, and okay. that might make our job a little easier. This? So let's see which one fits. Get a smaller one. Oh, yeah. bigger one. Yeah, try that. I think that works. So you're gonna go to the left to unscrew. Got it on there. This thing's we'll cool. hold it for you. Good teamwork. Oh, and do you feel it moving around in there? Came out. Oh, it did. Oops. Awesome. So now let's keep track of okay. all our parts. We can put them over here so we don't lose them. Keep all our parts straight. Great. That'll help us when we okay. put it back together. Well, let's see if we just give it a twist. Owen, can you keep doing it that way? Just slowly and I'll watch here. Everything looks okay so far. Oh. Hey, that's coming out easier. Okay, slow down, slow down. Nice. The thing in the bottom is just spinning. Uh, yeah. You know what? I think you got to reach up and hold the nut because the nut is going around in there. Okay. Got hey, it. great. Uh oh. Let's see. This this won't come out. What is in there that won't come out? So yes, there's so. the nut. And then pull this. I think we need that pick again. Excellent. So what do you see here before we start? Uh, it Getting looks like in the there. thing that the light shines Yeah, through. the light shines through. Alright, so it looks like a plastic disc. Maybe a diffuser. Can I, try I got an idea. What if we tap it? Let's see if it... Let's hold it. Let's see if gravity can help us. Can I use a pick? Sure. That pick's coming in handy. It's too bendy. Right. Well, that's actually probably good, right? So it doesn't shatter it. Sure. There we go. Darn it, the other side popped in. <laughs> yeah, I think it probably... I think we might need more of these. Let's try that. Maybe these pixels will help us get in there. 
I see why we needed so many in your kit. <laughs> Looking good. Yes. Ooh, I wow. think you popped it off of that lip. Be gentle. We let's don't know look what's inside in there. BB's brain. Yeah, let's see what kind of brains he has. What's those like chips inside a computer? Computer chips? Looks like. So yeah, this looks like the diffuser for the lights, and it looks like it's LED, right? Should we unscrew this bolt? Yeah. Sure. Let's take want... let's take that whole thing out. It looks like there's a circuit board in there. Oh. Twist that post. Ta-da! Oh. What's oh. in the head? So those this wires thing. are hot glued and on there. Here, it's just a bolt. Just a bolt. So pretty much empty. We took all his brains oh. out, right? What do you guys think this thing is? Mm. Any idea? That's probably the thing that makes the magnetic field for the. That's right. I'm not so sure it's magnetic field. I think it's using electricity. Maybe it'll help us if we trace where this wire goes. Can you check this that black wire? wire? Goes down and to Does that little us? tiny thing right there. Huh. Well, let's take a closer look at this. Now, you already told, talked about the LED bulbs that go all the way around, right? Mm -hmm. You can see there's different colored ones. We knew when we tapped it, there was yellow ones and orange ones. So you can see those here. What else do you see on there? Um, three black boxes. There's U1 right. and U2. There's U1 and U2? Uh-huh, so, U1 and U2. All right, so those <laughs> are little microprocessors, the U1 and U2, and these R's are resistors. We were just talking about that today in school, actually. Really? What did you learn about resistors at school today? That they resist electricity. So what does so that, that mean, to resist electricity? So that it slows, it doesn't, it stop some of the voltage that way it doesn't burn out the leds exactly because this is getting power from our wall socket right so it's a, a higher voltage but these leds are extremely efficient they only need a little bit of power yeah, yeah. so how do you think it works that was the big question because this thing's on here mm -hmm. and then the cap would sit on it and it wouldn't touch so how would that work is it well like, is mm -hmm. it, except are for there that any clues bolt. in there are there any clues inside the head uh, well, what's in paint, there? What do you see? <laughs> spray paint and uh, glued on bolt. Right, so why would they glue on a bolt right there? So you can screw this on. And if you screw that on, what is this thing going to contact? That, that thing. Right. And we know that metal is a conductor, right? Is this a metal too? Yeah, that's definitely metal. Okay. Now this thing is actually an antenna. And so what oh. happens is there's an electrical charge that comes up over here and charges, puts a light charge, and you guys knew about that because you didn't even have to touch it, right? Mm -hmm. So it builds up a tiny static charge on his head, on the metal mm. of his head. And when you touch it, what happens to all those electrons that are built up on his they head? They go into your hand? Yeah, they go into your hand. Now, on a regular lamp, how do you turn it on and off? Flip a switch. There's usually a switch, right? Mm -hmm. So a switch is a simple on-off mechanism. Yeah. But here, we're using static electricity as a switch, right? So there must be something on this board that's picking up on the change in electricity when you tap it. And, it's, and that is being triggered as a switch. So one of these little microprocessors processors on there is probably controlling that. So when it senses that you touched it because there's a change in the voltage, it acts as a switch and it switches to different modes and we know there's three modes on that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I don't think I would have figured it out without taking it apart. So how repairable do you think this lamp is? Well if you have the pieces, mm -hmm. pretty repairable, but if you don't, but the stuff seems like it's pretty hard to get, like never seen one of these before or something like this. Mm -hmm. So. And that, I think it's probably not very repairable, but like in other stuff, it's pretty, well, it's kind of actually pretty easy to take apart and stuff, like figure out what to, what's wrong with it. You broke one of the microprocessor thingies. I don't think you could fix it unless you had another microprocessor and you somehow hooked it up, but I don't know how to do that. Now, if you guys had to give this a score, a repairability score from one to 10, what would you give it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a eight or nine. So pretty high repairability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What were the things that made it positive? Because it's really easy to take apart if you mm -hmm. know what you're doing. Right. And it pretty much comes in like 
three main pieces with maybe like a few nuts and bolts on the side. Right. And these are easy to get off with regular tools that yeah. most people would have. Or even your fingers. That's true. What score would you give it, Owen? i say like seven to nine. A range? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why seven through nine? Because there are some things that are pretty hard like this, but also like some other things like this seem pretty easy to get. To replace if you needed to replace that component mm -hmm. or part. Yeah, that's right. Some Great. things are pretty easy and some things are hard. Yeah. Thanks guys. That was a really fun teardown. Mm -hmm. We took this whole thing apart and I think we'll be able to get it back together. Yep. <laughs>